I think what we have here is exactly the model that we want for these sort of celebrations. Some of the heroes of the sport come in, present some awards. We've got the youth of the sport coming up and getting the awards from their heroes. It's a perfect setup for that sort of thing. You know what, the last time I rode my bike was in June of this year at the Ride for Heart. The, the rest of the summer went as such with, uh, with a little daughter. I have a beautiful little daughter that uh, when there was free time, it was either, uh, either I was bouncing her on my knee or catching up on my sleep. And what are you up to now? I work in the software business. So I work for a small company. We do uh, event management software for the conference and trade show industry. So it's dealing with uh, program development, you know, project management, all that kind of stuff. So it's actually a lot of fun. And uh, the success of podiums and the success of a product in the marketplace is really just the, the result of all that hard work. And being here tonight at the celebration really is, is hopefully those moments get hit home. Uh, in uh, 1997, we started 10-pack distribution, started importing BMX bikes and distributing to shops across the country. 2000, I left my longtime sponsor, Schwinn Bicycles, to start McNeil Bikes. We also do Metro events, uh, Red Bull Elevation, Metro BMX Jam, BMX Pig, and a few other events throughout the world. The biggest change is, I think, uh, just acceptance from the general public. Um, we were always looked at as the rebels and the punks and whatnot, and we're starting to finally get recognized as the uh, dedicated athletes that we are. I mean, we might not train the same way, but we train just as hard. The silent auction was a big success. How much money did you raise? Over a thousand dollars. I think it was about twelve hundred dollars. Our uh, cover of our next magazine went for over six hundred dollars, and the money money all goes to our, towards our youth racing series. So it's it's a great contribution. It's kind of neat when you see the young kids come up on stage and their success. It's those memories that you have, and this is kind of you want those kids to hold on to that and understand that the, the, this is the root of what will be a very successful career for them. Um, I had some friends that rode and uh, watched the 87 Tour de France on TV and kind of got going from there. It took a few years to actually get going, but you know, the big ride used to be an hour down to the harbour front and back, and now that's just a coffee shop ride. So Metrics came about through uh, Matt Hansen, actually, who was living out in BC and got to know Kevin Cunningham. And sort of uh, through Matt, I met Kevin at Bose one year, and then we chatted and went from there. Uh, the next month is just base miles, getting ready to go down to uh, California in January, where I'll start start the real prep for the season in January down there. And no no goals just yet, but uh, we're gonna have a, a team meeting on Sunday to talk about the race calendar and this kind of stuff. So after that, then sort out some ideas. Tell me some of the highlights over the last year for the OCA. Well, one of the things that really stands out in my mind is the youth road racing series. We had 150 kids come out in the Jane and Finch area. We bought bikes for a number of them. Us as an association ran that whole event. The provincial championships were amazing. I may have been one of the ones at the beginning going, oh my gosh, we're you know going up Rattlesnake. You know, worked really well, the hard work of midweek. Other things were great for me were seeing the track championships, the BMX championships, mountain bike championships. Tomorrow I'm going to go to the cyclocross championships. It's amazing to see the athleticism of all the athletes across disciplines. Highlights for next year. I think we're just going to go into the year with, uh, it's going to be our year, everything's a new focus. We're going to beef up the Youth Road Racing Series. We're going to run some of the events a little bit better. We're going to streamline some of the operations so that it just makes much more sense. The other really key highlight for next year is Ontario Summer Games. We're working towards that in Ottawa and I think we're going to have one of the best turnouts we've had in years. There really is a nice buzz around Team Ontario and success breeds success. And we had a really good season in 2007 and I'm really looking forward to building upon that for 2008 and 2009. Do you have any particular words of advice for youth that are wanting to get into cycling? <laughs> Believe it or not, yoga. Do yoga and when you're like 38 years old, 39 years old, you'll thank me for giving that advice. You know, technology and uh, the advancements of the equipment of, of today's bicycle have I've taken leaps and bounds in the last 10 years, but when you get into the real world, it's the motor that matters. And if somebody that's getting involved in the sport was really to focus on that, 
uh, a little bit more, not worry so much about what their equipment was, understand that their equipment needs to be finely tuned, but not that the latest and greatest technology is going to take them to the finish line in first place. It, it requires a tremendous amount of hard work. Many people look for a magic bullet and the best advice I can be is to be work hard and follow your heart. Thank you.